Hi, Barney. Where's Larson? Have you seen him? Is he? Thank you. Right. Oh, well. You made a lovely job of this tender, by the way. Thank you. Oh, hi, Martin. Hello, dear. How are you? All right. Yeah. That looks nice. How long's that taken you? Oh, wow. Okay, I recently became uh, honorary painter to the Royal Yacht Squadron, and which is a huge accolade. Um, not in my wildest dreams I would have thought that could ever happen to me, but um, it came about through being invited for a weekend where I did a demonstration and got on with everyone, and made some contacts, and I think I fitted the bill. It was coming up for the five yearly renewal of the honorary painter, and I was chosen, which I'm hugely uh, proud of. Um, there are many pe painters before me, very famous people like W.L. Wiley, Norman Wilkinson, Eduardo Di Martino. They were all marine painters to the RYS, so it's a very special time for me. Being particularly the, uh, um, it's been a 200 year celebration this year since the forming of the RYS, so I've come in at a very good time. What is inspiring about um, coming on this boat is it instantly it brings me in touch with the elements um, like you just don't get on any other boat um, and I have painted on other people's boats, model boats but there's something about this boat that has this atmosphere and puts me in touch with like those painters that worked 150, 100 years ago and that's very important to me. Um, Part of the ambience and the feel of this boat is very, very important. It connects me as a painter, being a marine painter. Um, it, it, it's very hard to explain exactly what that is, that feeling, but it, it is very important. So in 1984, um, I bought this boat with the view to having somewhere to live. And uh, my wife and I, we were married a year later and we lived aboard for a year, but she didn't look like this. She was a bit of an old tour out then, um, and a very smelly boat as well, but we kind of made the most of it, and we had a year living aboard, which was, you know, hugely enjoyable. Um, she then was sailed around by us for a few years, um, not very far, um, because she did leak a lot, and we then found her, she'd sunk on her mooring, and we realised then she was coming to the end of her life, I think she was probably like in her 80s by then and it was time to make our mind up whether we were going to burn this boat and retrieve what we could or rebuild her and we honestly hadn't got the heart to do that so we decided on a huge project of rebuilding which I had no idea how long it was going to take. I thought initially two years it ended up probably being nearly 20. Martin, what is nightfall like to sail? Wonderful. Uh, off the wind and close reaching, very quick, very stable. Um, being shoal draft, she's not going to go to windward very well, um, not compared to a modern boat, but you wouldn't expect a boat of 105 years old to do that, so um, that's fine. Um, she's, she's very easily managed, she reefs easily, as long as you reef in good time, she's not difficult to handle. Hey, so, Bryony, mm -hmm. um, we were talking to Martin earlier. How long ago did you first move on to this boat? Oh, we've owned Nightfall for 32 years. And you were just a young well, what happened? newlywed. Newlyweds when you first lived at Portland. Well, what happened? We, hadn't, we hadn't got anywhere to live. Right. And we had this bright idea that perhaps if we bought a boat, we could live on her. Right. So we bought her as our first home. Oh, OK. And then we lived on for about a year. And we thought, oh, maybe we can keep her. And and 
we were going to sell her and use the money we sold her for as a deposit on, on our first house, but we were able not to have to do that. Right. So what was it like living at Ballers? Oh, it was newlywed? fantastic. It was really good. good. Very cosy. We had a, um, a, a lovely interior and it, it was fine. It was very good, yeah. We, had, we were in a, a, a marina, so we had mains power. So we had a little fan heater and a telephone and a TV. We weren't, okay. it wasn't camping. It was no. proper living. It was lovely. Brilliant.